joining us now is Lead Climate Action Nigeria Conservation Foundation, Solomon Peters. It's good to have you join us on TVC News at 7. Thank you for having me. Well, climate experts the world over are concerned about the rising temperature. Now mm -hmm. it's as high as 45 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. It didn't used to be this way. What do you think is responsible for this? Us, people, our lifestyle as well as responsible for the carbon emission in the atmosphere. So basically, um, we are emitting as much than what we can reduce in terms of the carbon emission in the atmosphere. And uh, we need to be cautious about that. And that's why everyone, about 200 governments across the world, is meeting in Madrid to talk about how we can cut down emission. It's time to cut down emission. We have to develop a low, a uh, carbon emission pathway that can help us in our development process. Well, world leaders are reaching this deal, but then there is that rule that individual countries, individuals within each country actually play to achieve this. What can Nigerians do to support this drive? Yes, Nigeria has a national climate action plan, um, which is to reduce carbon emission by 2030 by 40% business as usual, if, it is, if, we have, if we don't have funding, or 20% by, uh, if we have funding for, for, for reducing carbon emission. So this, there are about five sectors of the economy that needs to be addressed. For instance, the agriculture, which we've just seen now, is a major sector. It's uh, the, the mainstay of the economy. Everybody rely on rain-fed agriculture. But however, it is really impacting on our food system. Food security is, being, uh, uh, is an issue uh, as regards the northern region where we used to plant. Uh, crops are no more there. They don't take crops again. So uh, what we are planning, what, what we are advocating for now yeah. is a climate smart agriculture where people have uh, drought tolerant seeds and they're also individuals are also able to change their lifestyle. All right, 2020 is staring us right in the eye and mm -hmm. the deadline is fast approaching. Mm -hmm. uh, it therefore means that we need to sit up and actually get to work. If mm -hmm. you look at the progress we've made so far, would you, mm -hmm. how would you rate us? We have not done much. Honestly, uh, there are lots of ways to reduce carbon emission and uh, con that's why we are really calling on government in, across the world to really cut down on carbon emission. 2020, we have to revise our ambition. Uh, we must have an ambitious uh, action plan. Every country must come together. It's part of what is being discussed in Madrid at the moment, and they we're looking at revising those plans that we developed in 2015 so that we can be able to have something that is more ambitious, something that can achieve the Paris Agreement goal, which is to reduce carbon emission by uh, below 1.5 degrees Celsius mm. and, and, and at most below 2 degrees Celsius. Right, there's also that issue of plastic pollution mm -hmm. everywhere, in the waterways, mm -hmm. on the highway, I mean, just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. What drastic steps can we take? What, what strong measures can be taken to manage this? Honestly, our government needs to do something about plastic pollution. It's really affecting our water system. Everything we use around uh, the country goes into the ocean and it affects animals. Animals get trapped into these plastics and uh, it's a problem for wildlife. However, our government needs to ban single-use plastics. That's the only solution. This thing has been done uh, in some African countries. We need to take a, a key from these African countries and such needs to be banned. The use of single uh, pl use plastic needs to be banned and individuals also need to take a drastic effort in terms of uh, using plastic in their home. Uh, we, don't, we don't need plastics. Mm. We, we, we need reusable cups, cups mm. that, are, that can serve a lot of multifunctions. So we really need, our government need to take step. Individuals also need to take step to reduce plastics in our oceans. All right, so while we wait to get there, we can recycle what we have at the moment yeah. to just ensure that we're able to clear them out of yeah, the system. Yeah, recycling is one very quick fix, but really it's, it's not going to do a anything. We are, in Lagos, for instance, is generating close to 20, thousand metric tons now of that waste. That is massive, so that yeah, requires so, prompt so how much, how much of recycling can go into that to, be, right. able to, to be able to solve the issue of plastic waste? Salomon Adefolu, uh, Lead Climate Action Nigeria Conservation Foundation. Many thanks for joining us on TVC News at 7. Thank you for having me.